rambling man here. Okay, let's talk about a little bit of something. First off, make sure you go down below this video. You're watching this video right now, just open it up a little more, look down below it, and hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Let's talk about Dr. Fauci. Dr. Fauci is, in my opinion, a crook and a liar. First off, he comes on all the time. He's, he's really just in the whole this whole thing for money. Um, why people have kept him around and listened to him, I do not know. There's a lot more people that have more uh, better information that are smarter than Dr. Fauci that are not sitting in his position. I don't understand why he's there still. I mean, let's be honest, he should not have been there. Trump had him there and Trump should have fired him a long time ago. I just don't think people realized how little he really knew. I mean, he throws stuff out there all the time. He throws, he says one time we need, he don't want, he don't want, I don't think it'll come to doing mandates. Now he's like, oh, we need to mandate. You need vaccines. You, if you have a vaccine, you don't need a mask, but you should wear a mask now that you have a vaccine. I mean, he doesn't know what he's, whether he's coming or going. These are my opinions. But I will tell you that Rand Paul and Ted Cruz lit him up on Sunday talking about that he's a technocrat and all these different things talking about that he's on the wrong side of science that he 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 tries to hide behind science when really he's claimed all the time that he hasn't had any, done any research in Wuhan his company is not but yet that's not true um, so I really just feel like he's quite the liar he really doesn't know what he's saying and sometimes and here I'll tell you this much sometimes he's gonna be accurate if I tell you during the daytime that it's gonna the sun's gonna rise the sun's gonna set it's gonna be a hot summer's day it'll be a cold day it'll rain it'll snow if I get a few of those right my percentage of accuracy goes from 50% 60% 80% but it's only because I threw so many things out there if you throw so many different things out there you're gonna be right about some of them maybe more than you are wrong because you take an educated guess but it doesn't mean that you're Tell, being honest with everybody and telling the truth and that's why I think Dr. Fauci sends he, he's talking about the right and talking about Ted Cruz and Rand Paul about them he, he said they're just going to keep saying lies and I'm going to keep saving lives I'm just saving lives here I don't see him doing anything all he's doing is repeating what Biden's saying and Biden's repeating what he's saying about hey y'all need to get the vaccine they need to get the vaccine that's all they say and it's, it's like one of those things that's on repeat and you get tired of hearing the same thing all the time and I have a question for you so I know when Delta variant hit it changed everything from the original C word okay and I don't, like I said I don't want to say the C word out loud because then they fact check me or some stupid disclaimers on there but if they talk about the Delta variant they're trying to get these vaccines to cover the Delta variant which they haven't had much success with but then they're bringing the booster on is the booster for the Delta variant but what about this Omicron now Omicron is way down the line in the variant scale because you have Delta and then uh, Epsilon all these different ones it goes all the way down till you get to Omicron so why is Omicron all of a sudden the bad one and so you're gonna just is this just a never-ending like hamster wheel because you never get off of that wheel because what happens is you open up uh, travel then you ban travel you open up travel you ban guys I'm telling you right now this is blown up worse than it really is I mean yes people have died from it but until you actually understand it it's not going to change you're gonna have like the herd, uh, herd immunity. I mean, that's what's really going to happen. After a while, you're going to become immune to it. It's no, no worse than what happens with the flu. Except right now, even if you died from the flu this last year, you got if you tested you after the post mortem, they test you and you had the C word, then you're classified as dying from the C word instead of the flu. You'll have. The flu with complications from the C word or pneumonia with complications it, it's it's stupid it really is so if you are one of those believers that you think everything has to do with the C word then 
then I think you really have lost your way in regard to just really paying attention. Pay attention logically, a lot of this does not make sense. So just, just look at that. Um, tell me what your thoughts are. What do y'all think? Y'all think Fauci even has a clue what he's talking about? Or you think he's just pulling that out of the air? Um, do you see an end in sight? Or is this a never-ending thing? As long as they can push that narrative, at some point you have to step back and say, look, we got to just, you wash your hands, you be better about your hygiene, but to shut people down, to get rid of people because they don't have a vaccine is asinine. It, it's completely ridiculous. Let me know what you think. I'm just curious. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. But let me know what you think. It, where where are you? Where do you stand with this? And, and if you stand completely like, I need the vaccine. I, I believe this and that. Tell me. But tell me why. Tell me really why. Because there's a lot of people like, yes, I know people that have died from it. But here's the other thing. Not everybody that has died from this has been unvaccinated. And not everybody that's been unvaccinated has even contra contracted the uh, the virus. Let me know your thoughts. Randleman out.